Hello class four. Welcome to your maths class. Friends, today we are going to start a new chapter that is geometrical shapes. Okay. First shape is closed curve. Closed curves. The curves are the line segments which starts from one point and ends at the same point. Okay. Suppose this is a figure I have started here. It is closed here. I have started from here this point and I have ended at this point also. Okay. It is not open from any sides. It is closed. Suppose I have drawn like this a figure. Okay. I have started from here and ended at here. So it is also closed, not open. These types of figures of any shape and size are known as closed curve and next is open curve the curves are the line segments which starts at one point and ends at another point they are not closed they may be a line segment or a half circle or a semicircle anything else suppose i have started here a point a line this way I have started from this point and ended at this point. So it is open from one side. So these type of shapes which are open. Suppose this is the sh shape. Any type of shape. Okay. These are known as open curves. Next is triangle. All of you know. How a triangle looks like? Like a pyramid. Okay. So, triangles are closed curve. Triangles are known as closed curves. Okay. It has three sides. Triangles are closed curve and it has three sides. Okay. The sides can be seen and can be different in their lengths. Next is quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals are the shapes or curves made of four or more sides. Okay. Mainly quadrilaterals are made of four sides and they are also known as closed curves. There are examples like rectangle, rectangle, square. Okay. These are the quadrilateral shapes. So they also have four sides. A rectangle has four sides. A square has four sides. The basic difference between square and rectangle is all the sides of the squares are same. But in a rectangle, only the opposite sides are same. Okay? The basic difference between the square and rectangle is that all the sides of a square are same. But in a rectangle, only the opposite sides are same. Okay? Next, circle. The next figure which I am going to draw is a circle. Circle is known as closed curve. It is not an open curve. Circle is called a closed curve. It is starts from one point and ends at the same point. Look at the figure. This is a circle. Okay. I have started at from this point and I have ended the circle at only this point only. Okay. The center of the point. The center. Okay. This is the center of the circle. Now, there are three parts that is radius. This is known as radius of the circle. 
the radius of the circle starts from the center of the circle and ends at any point of the circle if there are four radius or three radius all the radius of a circle are same okay all the radius of the circles are same next is diameter a diameter is the longest chord of the circle a diameter is the longest chord of the circle it starts from one point on the circle and passes through the center of the circle you have to remember that a diameter always passes through the center of the circle and next is chord a chord is just a line segment it can anywhere on the circle but it starts from one end on the circle and ends on the other side of the circle okay now the length of the circle there is the length what is the total length from here the side from the circle on the board if you measure the length the length of the circle is known as circumference the length of the circle is known as circumference now there are many types of angles also in given in your book which we will learn in the next class for example right angle reflex angle and acute angle obtuse angle okay right angle is equal to 90 degree right angle is equals to 90 degree reflex angle is more than 180 degree acute angle it is less than less than 90 degree and obtuse angle it is more than 90 degree more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree these are the main points you have to remember right angle is always equal to 90 degree acute angle it is less than 90 degree reflex angle it is 180 degree or more than 180 degree more than 180 degree obtuse angle it is more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree these are the four main types of angles i have given you we will learn in the, about them in the next class that's all for today's lesson have a nice day bye